Hello everyone, my name is Aspect23, here for a Katane module tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the Unfair Cipher module. Now when this module came out, it was probably the hardest module in the whole game. And there were um, 30 characters you had to write down and 10 inputs. However, now there are only 12 characters and 4 inputs. So that's what the module looks like. I would say this module is very apparent that it makes its pre it just seems like the model just shows it off a lot. That could be just my opinion of it. So, um, we're gonna get Edgework quickly. We have two batteries in one holder. Hit TRN, hit CLR, I can actually type. Um, plate RCA DVI and an empty plate. Serial number is Romeo Echo 3, November Whiskey 0. This is going to kill my OCD. Anyway, um, so there are two things that you need to get here. This string of text and the module ID number. Um, the module ID number will be in Roman numerals. In this case, it will be 1. Um, the first unfair cipher you load in the game will have the ID 1, and the second unfair cipher loading in the game will have the ID 2, so far and so, far and so forth, until you reset your game. Um, so you will never get the same ID twice. Um, this we don't need right now. We're going to grab it later. So the first thing we need to get is key A. So we need to start with a serial number, which is this. Now we need to transform each letter into its numerical equivalent, where alpha is 1, bravo is 2, etc. And make this a single string of digits. So, Romeo is 18. Echo is 5. November is 14. And Whiskey is 23. Now, there's an exception to this. Ignore the first character if its numerical equivalent is 20 or above, so tango or later. In this case, it's not, so we don't do anything. Then, uh, remove this last digit right here if either the fourth or fifth characters of the serial number are vowels. Uh, in case they're, this case, they're not. And if they are both vowels, then you still only do this once. Convert this number into hexadecimal. Um, now, I'm not great at the conversion, so I'm going to use a converter online. Let's do this quickly. There. So now we get this. This is the same number in base 16, or hexadecimal. Now, uh, we're going to go through this. So for all of this, we actually only got two numbers. Um, zero, I think we can just get rid of. And we need to take each number and convert it to its letter equivalent. So in this case, we have six, turn it into Foxtrot. Uh, in case in the zero, you just get rid of it. Doesn't really convert to anything. Oh, right there. Skip it to zero. Now, here's another thing. Let's say if I had like one, two, or something like that. Now you think, well, one would just be alpha and two would just be bravo. However, if two consecutive digits fall in the range 10 to 26, convert those two numbers to the same letter. So in this case, it would be lima. We don't actually have that there, though. But that's just an example uh, in case that shows up. Then we take the module ID, which is 1, oh, oops, A, um, the number of port plates, which is 2, and battery holders, which is 1, and convert those to letters and append them into this right here. And this is key alpha. Uh, before I continue, uh, one thing about this right here, you can actually click on it and it looks like it turns blank, but it actually is counting the number of strikes in Roman numerals. Um, as of right now, we have zero strikes, which isn't anything in Roman numerals. So I'm just going to leave it there. But you can flip that any time before it's solved. So, uh, now we need key B, which is pretty easy to get. All you need to do is the current month that it is, in this case March, and the current day of the week, which is Monday. So we have Delta, Bravo, Hotel, Charlie. And next we need key C. Use a Playfair cipher to encode key A using key B as the keyword. So here is a rundown on how Playfair ciphers work. It is a 5x5 grid of letters, and that's 4x4. Uh, each of these dots will have a letter filled in its place. Um, the key, as the keyword, goes into the first four slots in reading order. And the rest of the slots are filled with by the remaining letters from A to Z, in alphabetical order with no repeating letters and there is always be one extra letter in this case um, Juliet we're not going to use Juliet if Juliet appears in here 
um, treat it in the same way as India. Essentially, just don't use Juliet. So the next letter is Alpha. Then it would be Bravo. We've already used that. Charlie, we've already used that. And Delta, we've already used that. So then, we have Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, we've already used. And now we just fill in the rest of this in alphabetical order. I'm just going to get rid of these dots. So now we have a 5x5 grid of letters, and there are no repeats. So, bring it down a little bit. Now we're going to take uh, key A. I'm going to uh, copy that and paste it here. So, when um, encoding in a Playfair cipher, you need to take your key, uh, or just our message that we're encoding, not the key. Uh, we're going to um, divide it into pairs. Now, there are a few exceptions which we will be hitting. Uh, in this case, um, only for this part right here, we don't actually change key A. Uh, if you get two duplicate letters, the second letter is changed to X-ray. And if you're missing a letter in a pair, add an X-ray. Um, those two exceptions are found right there. So, what we need to do is find these two letters on this 5x5 grid. Bravo is right here, X-ray is right here. So what we do is we take the row that Bravo is in and find the column that X-ray is in, which is this one right here. And we need to take this column and find the letters in the same row as the first letter, which is hotel. And then vice versa, we take we find the row that X-ray is in and find that it's in the same row and column as X-ray and or same row as X-ray and same column as Bravo, which would be whiskey. So this pair converts to this. Now we're going to keep doing that for these as well. Alpha's here, Bravo's here. Now if they're in the same row, like they are now, um, since we're encoding, the um, we're going to go to the right. Um, there are a few, uh, I would say, explanations for if the two letters are in the same row or in the same column. Hard to highlight columns in Notepad. Um, these D and E means decoding, which we'll be doing later, and encoding. As of right now, we are um, encoding. And note that this you do not mean diffuser and expert. <laughs> um, and so, since we're going to the right, we're going to take the letters immediately to the right of these two letters. So, the letter immediate to the right of alpha, uh, we're going to wrap around, since it says to do so, is delta. And then bravo, the immediate one to the right, is hotel. Now we're going to take Bravo and Hotel. As you can see, they're in the same column. So since we're encoded, we're going to go right the one directly below it. So Bravo encodes the Foxtrot, and Foxtrot encodes the mic. Now we have Alpha Bravo again, do the same thing, and Alpha X-Ray. Alpha's here, X-Ray's here. So Alpha, um, in the same row as Alpha, and the column as X-Ray is Hotel, and the same row as X-Ray, in the same column as Alpha, is Zulu. So now we have key C, which is this. All right. So now we got our three keys out of the way. Now we need this message right here. So um, the message is Oscar. Oh, whoops, that's a zero. Uh, Oscar, Charlie, Mike, Oscar, Alpha, Victor, Romeo, India, Acro. Can't speak apparently. Sierra, Whiskey, Charlie. So we're gonna go up here. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we're gonna be decoding this. So we're gonna be doing some Playfair ciphers again. We're gonna be decoding. And the first thing before we get to the Playfair ciphers is a Caesar cipher. So we're gonna be decoding this message in a Caesar cipher. Uh, when you encode or decode in a Caesar cipher, you change its position in the alphabet, essentially going along this number line right here. So if I had uh, let's say echo and the key was plus two. I would move from echo to golf and I would get that. Since we're decoding, we're actually plus two in this case would actually go backwards to Charlie because we're decoding. So, um, to get the key that we need to decode, it involves edge work. So we're going to start at zero. Uh, for every port type, uh, it looks like we have two port types right here. Uh, subtract two for each. So in this case, since we have two port types, we're going to subtract four. Uh, for every port plate, add one. We have two port plates, so we're going to add two. For every consonant in the serial number, add one. We have one 
two, three consonants, so we're going to add three to get positive one. For every vowel in the serial number, we subtract two. We do have one vowel, so we're going to subtract two to get minus one. For every lit indicator, uh, we do have two lit indicators, plus two for each, so now we are at plus three. Every unlit indicator, minus two, we don't have any unlit indicators. For every battery, subtract one, we have two batteries, so in this case we subtract two to get one. If, if there are no batteries, you add ten. Uh, if there are no ports, you multiply by two. And if there are 31 or more modules, we divide by two. Uh, and we only have one module in this case. Uh, I'm actually not sure about rounding rules with division. Drop any remainders. Okay, so round down. So now, uh, we need to decode this in the Playfair key that we got, which is plus one. And since we're decoding, we're going to be going backwards in the alphabet, one. So in this case, Oscar becomes November, Charlie becomes Bravo, Mike becomes um, Lima, Oscar becomes November, Alpha becomes Zulu, because we wrap around, Victor becomes Uniform, Romeo becomes uh, Quebec, India becomes Hotel, Echo becomes Delta, Sierra becomes Romeo, Whiskey becomes Victor, and Charlie becomes Bravo. So after Caesar, we now have this. Now we need to do two player face ciphers. Uh, the first player face cipher involves key Charlie as the keyword. So this. So we need to create that 5x5 five five grid again, but the first letters are going to be this. Now remember how we don't have any duplicate letters. So in this case, there are some duplicate letters. Only use the first instance of that letter and remove any other instances. So in this case, we have a few hotels in here. So we're going to only use the first hotel and get rid of these. Same with this delta. Um, yep, those are unique. So we have those first letters, and we're going to fill in the rest of them in alphabetical order, as long as I don't use the same letter. Okay, so we have Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Echo, Golf, India, Kilo, remember we skipped Juliet, Lima, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, X-Ray, and Yankee. Okay. So now we take this Caesared message and we're going to um, decode this message using this Playfair cipher matrix. So we're going to split this into pairs again. So we have five pairs. Now to decode, it's a little bit different where um, the rules are exactly the same unless if you get stuff in the same column or same row. In this case, um, you go to the left and above instead of right and below. Also, excuse that garage door. Um, so November and Bravo. Um, let's find November and Bravo is right here. So November uh, in the same row as November and column as Bravo is Kilo. And for the same row as Bravo, same column as November is Echo. Uh, now November and Lima, they're right next to each other. So we're going to the left for decoding. So we get Kilo and Lima. Uh, Zulu and Uniform. Zulu is here. Uniform is right here. Zulu. Uh, same row as Zulu and column as Uniform is Alpha. Uh, same row and Uniform. Same row as Uniform and same column as Zulu is Tango. Now we take Quebec and Hotel. Quebec is here. Hotel is here. So same row as Quebec and column as Hotel is Oscar. Um, now same row as Hotel and column as Quebec is Delta. Um, Delta and Romeo are right there. Um, Del Delta, um, same row as Delta and column as Romeo is Foxtrot. Same row as Romeo and column as Delta is Quebec. And finally, Victor and Bravo. Um, where are, so Victor's here, Bravo's here. They're in the same column. So we go up one. So Victor becomes Quebec and um, Bravo becomes Delta. So now, we have this right here for after key C encryption. Excision label in there. Um, you don't need to label that at all because we're going to do another Playfair cipher right now. Except this time, where is it? There it is. Repeat the same thing except with key A. So we're going to take key A and do the exact same thing. I'm going to get rid of all the, the duplicates. And I'm going to fill in the rest of this. This should be quite easy. Alright, 
so now we have Kilo and Echo. I'm gonna go down here and make sure I'm doing this right. So Kilo and Echo um, are in the same row. So we go one to the left. So we have India and Kilo. I'm very happy I got that because I can actually tell from this that my answer is correct. Um, so Kilo and Lima are in the same row as Kilo and column as Lima is Echo. Same row as Lima and column as Kilo is Papa. Alpha and Tango. Alpha is here. Tango is here. Uh, so same row as Alpha and column as Tango is Charlie. Uh, same row as Tango and column as Alpha is R Romeo. Next we have Oscar and Delta. Um, they are right here and there. Uh, same row as Oscar and column as Delta is Papa. And then same row as Delta and column as Oscar is Charlie. Next we have Foxtrot and Quebec. They are right there and right there. Uh, same row as Foxtrot and column as Quebec is Bravo. Uh, same row as Quebec and column as Foxtrot is Sierra. Next we have Quebec and Delta, which are there and there, and I can immediately tell that my answer is correct. Because um, I've done this quite a bit. So, um, next we need to take the same row as Quebec and column as Delta, which is uniform. And then we have the same row as Delta and column as Quebec, which is Bravo. So now we have our final message. And now we split it into groups of three. So we have Ike, PCR, PCB, and Sub. So these, we have four commands for our four inputs into the module. And the commands are listed right here. So the first, we're gonna look at Ike, which is right here. Or, uh, nope, right here, excuse me. Starting from red at the top, count as many colored buttons clockwise as there are strikes and press the resulting button, um, meaning zero. For to the strike counter, which is this, uh, we don't have any strikes. So starting from red at the top, since we don't have any strikes, we're gonna just press red for Ike. Okay, uh, PCR, press red. Uh, PCB, which we'll is press blue. And sub, which is press outer center when the second digits on the timer match, which is this button. There are five buttons, red, green, blue, inner center, and outer center. Um, sometimes I find them a little tricky to hit sometimes, but just make sure you get the right highlight. And that is a solved module. So yeah, that kind of took a while. Um, that took, I believe, 28 minutes, no, not 18 minutes, excuse me. Um, this module does take a while and it can take me about like five minutes on a good pace, but for starting out, it might take you longer. It's definitely one of the longer models in the game, especially when it came out, it was the hardest, like I said earlier. So expect to, if you see this on the bomb, give it out early. So uh, we're gonna be doing another unfair in a little bit. Just give me one second. All right, before we start the next bomb, um, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick you can do actually before the bomb even loads. Uh, as long as you know that there will be an unfair cipher on the bomb, you can do this little trick before you even see the bomb. Um, with key Bravo, this will always be the same. So in this case, March and Monday. So we can make the Playfair cipher from key Bravo right now. So Delta Bravo Hotel Charlie, and Alpha, and then fill in the rest. So there you go. You did an entire step or part of a step in advance before you even saw the bomb. Uh, but I mean, it's only worth it if you know an unfair cipher will be on the bomb. So, but I decided to show you that little trick. So let's start another one. So, I'll just show a random message. Um, so now this ID is two because this is the second unfair cipher I've loaded in the game so far. Um, let's grab Ed's work again. Okay, three batteries, two holders, lit car. Unlit TRN, and a lit November SA. That's a good example. Um, serial number is one whiskey seven, Romeo Zulu two. All right, so uh, let's get Kie again. I'm gonna put it up here this time. 
So take the serial number. Um, now we take in each of the, excuse me, the letter um, into a string of digits. So Whiskey becomes 23, Romeo becomes 20, and Zula becomes 26. When it says ignore the first character if its numerical equivalent is 20 or, or above, um, this only refers to if the letter was in the first position. Wait, is that true? Okay, yes it is. I just che I checked the log, but only just to get key A at this part. Um, the logging for this module is actually very intricate. It tells you basically uh, every single thing you need to know about every single step. Uh, while doing so, I realized I actually made a mistake right here. This should be 18, not 20. Romeo is 18. Um, so in this case, yes, that I can confirm that only if it's in this first position of the serial number, um, do you actually remove it or not even consider it if it's um, any of these letters. Um, and these two are not vowels, so we do not remove the last digit. Uh, we're going to convert this into hexadecimal, so we're going to take this again and get this. All right. Um, now uh, we have 7. Now 75 is not between um, 10 and 26, so 7 becomes golf. We have 5. Well, there's no other letter next to it, so echo. 7. 76 is not between 10 and 26, so this turns into golf. And 6 turns into foxtrot. Now we append the module ID, which is 2, which becomes bravo. The number of port plates, which is 0. If you get 0, you don't add anything. And the number of battery holders, which is two, which is bravo again. So this is our key A. Key B, we already got, so we can immediately start encoding this in the key C. Now let's split it into pairs again. Uh, in this case, we're missing a letter, so we're gonna add x-ray, but only for this, once again, it does not get added to key A. So, we're going to be encoding this time. Remember, we're encode and then decode twice. So I'm going to go down here. We're going to follow these rules right here. All right, golf echo. Um, golf and echo turns into, oh, uh, they're in the same row. So we go to the right. That will become India Foxtrot. Um, then Foxtrot Charlie, where are those two? That becomes India Bravo. Um, Alpha Golf becomes Hotel Kilo. Uh, Foxtrot Bravo becomes, where is Bravo? Um, we go below for going down, so we become Mike Foxtrot. Um, and then Bravo X-Ray is right here, which becomes Hotel Whiskey. I'm just gonna double check that quickly. All right, that looks good. Anyway, so now we have Key C. All right, now we need to take our message, which is India, Mike Golf, Tango Golf Alpha. Um, Mike Lima Golf Alpha Sierra Tango. Now we need to get our Caesar key, so we go back up here. Um, by the way, I won't be explaining how the hex decimal to hexadecimal um, conversion works. There is actually a needy called decimal to hex, or actually hexadecimal. Um, but essentially, it's a base conversion from base 10 to base 16, and you only need to do it once. Uh, there's a little table right here um, explaining stuff. I'm just going to get rid of this, so I don't need it anymore. So for our Caesar Cypher, we're going to start at zero. Uh, port types, we don't have any port types. Let me just get rid of um, this to don't need it anymore. Um, and so I can actually see the edge work I wrote down. Every port type, we don't have any port types, so we don't do anything. Port plate, plus one. None of those. Constant in the serial number, we have three, so we add three. Uh, vowel, we don't have any vowels in the serial number. For your lit indicator, plus two, so we have seven for plus four. Every unlit, minus two, so it's gonna be plus five. So for one unlit indicator. Hurry battery, subtract one, so now we have plus two. If there's no batteries, add 10. Nope, no ports, multiply by two, so we have plus four. And 31 or more modules, divide by two. So plus four uh, is the key, so we're gonna be going backwards by four since we are decoding this. So, um, the way I like to do this is India is nine and then subtract four to get five with his echo. And 13 minus four is nine. Um, seven minus four is 
um, 3. 20 minus 4 is 16. 7 minus 4 again is Charlie. 1 minus 4, I'm just going to do this, is Zulu. Um, it's basically it's 27 minus 4, which is 23. 13 minus 4 is 9. 12 minus 4 is 8. 7 minus 4 is um, that, that. 19 minus 4 is 15 and 16. We're going to do a little double checking quickly again. since The thing is with this module is you can't tell if you're right or wrong until after this third playthrough cipher. If the code that you get doesn't have any of these, then you've done something wrong. And you, unless if you can really pinpoint it, it's hard to tell where it is. The good news is you'll probably never actually give a wrong answer to the diffuser during this, since you'll know if it's wrong or not. All right, that looks good. I don't have a calculator with me, so that's why I'm just double checking and all this stuff. All right, so now we have this. Uh, we take this again, and we're gonna start a new Playfair cipher. Uh, we have two Aeneas. Uh, we have two Foxtrots, we have two Hotels. Alright, so we're going to fill in the rest of this. Alright. I'm going to take our season message, I'm going to fill in the pairs. Oh, by the way, the whole thing with... Um, um, same thing like we did when we first got key C with either the same letter or if you're missing a letter. In this case, you won't be missing a letter. Uh, make the second letter X for this. Um, it shouldn't happen too often, though. So anyway, we have Echo and India. They are in the same column. So we're going to go down. Actually, we're going to go... Yeah, we're going to go up for decoding. That's right, since we're decoding now. So I'll become Mike and Uniform. Uh, Charlie Papa becomes, where are they? Uh, that becomes Mike Sierra. Charlie Whiskey becomes, we're going left, which becomes Alpha Mike. Um, India Hotel becomes, we're going left again, Kilo Bravo. Charlie Whiskey becomes Alpha Mike. We had it twice. And then Oscar Papa becomes Echo Tango. Now we take this again. Do we have any duplicates here? All right, and make our new Playfair cipher. All right, Mike in uniform becomes um, uh, Papa Romeo. Okay. I didn't realize the PRM was one, but I'm good. All right, uh, Mike Sierra becomes November Romeo. Alpha Mike becomes Echo Papa. Uh, Kilo Bravo becomes um, India Kilo. Alpha Mike again becomes an Echo Papa. And Echo Tango becomes Charlie Romeo. So this is the final message. And it becomes a three. Um, before we do anything, I'm going to go over these. PCR, press red. Why is there a period there, but not the other two? Uh, PCG is press green. PCB is press blue. A sub, uh, outer center on a mat. Um, mitt, I think. Inner center, when the last is it, um, we're actually not going to do this, but I'm going to mention this. Inner center, which is this. When the last is on the timer, matches M plus C plus S modulo 10. M is the module ID, which is this. C being the number of times a colored button has been pressed since the last strike on this module or since the beginning of throwing our strikes. And a colored button is one of these three buttons. And S being the current stage, starting with one. So for the first for the first input it's on stage one, for the second input it's on stage two, and stage three, and stage four. Uh, PRN, inner center. Uh, if the module ID, module 20, is a prime number, otherwise press the outer center. Um, two is prime, so we're going to start um, with outer center, since we're starting with PRN. And check is the opposite. Um, Bob is inner center, and if there's a lit Bob as the only indicator on the bomb, and two batteries in total, this instantly solves the mazel. I've never seen this happen before, and it honestly isn't really a good unicorn, since 
at that point, you have done basically everything at that point. Unless if you want to encode through two play fair ciphers at once. So this really doesn't help. Not as much. Especially since now there are four inputs instead of the old ten. Uh, rep or reap or eat. Uh, repeat the last input or inner center of this is the first. And then stir and ike. Uh, starting from red at the top, press as many colored buttons as there are strikes. Uh, the first, um, I'm going to just strike on purpose. Now, the thing doesn't change, so nothing changes. But if you click here, now we have the red one in Roman numerals. This indicates that we have one strike on the bomb. So, um, I'll follow that once we get there. So, PRN. Inner center, if the module ID, module 20, is a prime number. Uh, module ID 2 is prime. Actually, yeah, we were pressing inner center. I lied earlier, saying that we'd be pressing outer center first. We're actually pressing inner center first. So, we're going to press inner center. And then we have rep, which is right here. Repeat the last input, so inner center. Um, Ike, so we're going to start from red, zero at the top. Count as many colored buttons clockwise as there are strikes. So red, and then one strike clockwise is green. And then finally, PCR, press red. And there we go, that's another solid module. So one thing to note is that you can't interact with that right there after the module solves. So if you're on a bomb that, that could potentially have more than two strikes or more than four strikes, you might want to leave it right there just so you get an instant solve counter. And it will update even after the module is solved. So if you can't tell how many strikes there are, if there are at least four, since they all have the same timer speed after four strikes, just leave it like that. And now you'll always get to see how many strikes there are. But that's essentially it for this module. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, keep talking and don't explode.